Uh, hey there guys, William Shatt here. Got another video for you today. Uh, today we're talking about DPS in Star Trek Online. Uh, a lot of videos have been coming out, people talking about it, people showing you how to DPS, what gear you should get, uh, how to optimize your DPS so you can do 100,000. Uh, let's, let's forget all about all that stuff, okay? Um, I showed you some video, I had a video in the past I showed you how to install a DPS meter. Um, part of the purpose of that was for your own benefit, not for, it wasn't meant, oh, uh, you know, I think you should be this amount of DPS or this amount of DPS. It's, it's for self-improvement, not to, you know, kind of like be the best or the best or whatever. And, uh, you know, another thing about the DPS in the game right now, it's, it's, I don't know, it's slightly, slightly inaccurate. Uh, to put it mildly, I guess, um, you know, we can only record so much, record the DPS that we can uh, based off of the information provided by the system itself. So, you know, if it's garbage in, it's garbage out. So the the, a the accuracy of what the DPS is uh, isn't always, you know, uh, the best. But uh, as I was going, as I was kind of like... Uh, roaming through the internet, uh, somebody actually sent a message on uh, YouTube and said that the link that I provided was uh, broken uh, to download the old DPS meter. Uh, but I came across, I was like, as I was trying to find another link for it, and I still haven't actually, uh, I came across this uh, DPS parser. Uh, it's actually in beta right now. I don't know if anybody else was aware of it, but I figured I'd, I'd uh, showcase, this, uh, showcase it. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, allows you to uh, upload your combat log file uh, and uh, to, to the website and you can set it so that uh, you can see it on your tablet, your phone, all that good stuff apparently. I mean I imagine there's an app I haven't gotten into that yet. I just just playing around with it for the first time on the computer. Um, just basically loads a little uh, desk, desktop tray icon. Uh, and allows you to upload your reports. You can view them. It's all web-based. So if we click on uh, Learn More, we can actually download it. There's a nice little download button here. So it'll talk. It'll talk about all this stuff. Basically, start Star Trek Online. Type, and this is the same as it always was. It always takes from that file that exists in the game anyway. So you type in when you're in the game. Type Combat Log One into chat. Complete any PvE, PvP, or invasion zone. And when you're finished, type Combat Zero. That turns it off or stops reporting to the combat log. Double-click desktop icon or client system tray to process your log. So, if we download it, go to the download button. It takes us to this uh, media fire. Uh, make sure you just click this button up here, the Stow DPS. Uh, sometimes these sites can be a little buggy. So. Um, yeah, click the top button. This is the one that'll get you the file. I've already done that. We're not going to download it again. If we look inside my folder here, you can see I have the X, .exe anyway. So you just run it. Real simple. And then it pops it up right down here in your system tray. And you could open up you know, your your system here, and it's just, this is basically all it is, you know, so they have management, compress backup, but uh, basic thing is, is uh, one of the things I want to talk about real quick, this all uploads to their website, so it's, it's all web-based. Um, you can classify your handle, which I have done, uh, if you don't want people looking at your stuff, and you just want to look at it because that's you know a lot of a lot of people like to be private when it comes to you know what the DPS is and that's fine. So uh, basically, when you're when you're done with a DPS match, you hit upload. Oops, missing combat log. Combat log has been since your last up. Okay, so my last update is basically what was it was. Um, the last log I uploaded is what is on the website. So if we look at it real quick, uh, basically I didn't look at uh, everyone else that was in the match, but I mean it's it's a pretty nice layout actually. Uh, so we we did a 
a crystal here. I don't know if it actually tells us. Does it tell us what we did? What match we did? Anyway, but this is basically it. Uh, it goes through all this stuff. Group kills, 84. Group damage, 22 million. Group size, 10 players. Combat duration, 4 minute 9 seconds. Game duration, 4 minute 34 seconds. Uh, added 30 minutes ago. Uh, it shows what uh, the DPS looks like. And this is based on how much damage per second my particular weapons are doing. Um, a lot of this isn't exactly accurate to what uh, what your actual DPS is. Uh, and I'm no DPS pro as to how to read all this stuff, to tell you the truth. Um, so Quantum Torpedoes, that was from my pets. Uh, but the, the layout is really nice. I like it. It's really polished, really clean. Uh, let's see. My Neutronic Torpedoes did the most killing. They killed eight. 62 flanks, 40 flanks. So this is nice. They've added in flanks. You can see what you're flanking on. Uh, let's see. It's just nice that that actually records your warp cores. I don't know how it records this too because I mean, warp cores, as far as I remember, I think it only records it if you were the only one that touched that particular ship. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I See, like some of the stuff, I don't know. How, how do you read it? How do you tell? Uh, let's see. What is this one? Damage statistics. Outgoing, incoming. Uh... Okay, so I did more outgoing than incoming. So somebody else was taking more damage than I am, than I was. I wasn't really getting hit a ton, I don't think. Let's see. Actually, 300,000, that's, you know, that's a decent amount. Hmm. It's just, it's really nice and laid out. It's just something you might want to try. Uh... So we can click on my character's name, monthly PvE ground report, monthly PvE space report. Uh, let's see, this was in. So we can see all, it actually, it looks like it's going to store all the reports in the match. So if we open the report, we can see basically what we had before. So pretty cool, pretty cool little toy here. Heals to self, heals to self. Nine K, eight K, engineering team, desperate repairs, lockout. I think that's a, tr a space trait. Power to shield, hazard emitters. So it's, it's all broken down real nicely. I like it. Heals from others. Ninety two. HPS, so I got some heals from a, a nanite cloud. But, you know, maybe we'll come back, we'll look at this stuff, we'll do some matches, and we'll compare some of this stuff. But, uh, just wanted to show you all this stuff real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a conduit real quick. So let's make sure we turn on our combat. I think we already have it on, but just in case. So combat log one. So it should be turned on. And hopefully we don't screw this up.
I'm really wrecking myself here. Oh my gosh. Why are all my cooldowns screwed? get healed up. This, they need to fix these cooldowns. They're, they're driving me nuts. That was horrible. Alright, come on. Shut up. Okay, so uh, that didn't go over too well. Um, so turn our reader off, turn that off, blah blah blah. They don't actually have to turn it off. I mean, I guess it's just a recommendation. It's probably a good idea. But uh, uh, that was a failure, utter disaster. Uh, so basically what we'll do is uh, do an upload here. You'll see it start working. It's processing my combat log. Then it opens up a file. And uh, this opens this up. Opens this up in Internet Explorer. So I'm actually going to open it in a Chrome because it's a little better. So in the match here, let's see we didn't do too well. Oh no, this is me here. Uh, my actual DPS was around 20k uh, base DPS, and I think what this means, I think this is when uh, total time I'm actually attacking versus when I'm just in the match. Um, so can these numbers get skewed? Uh, I, I've heard that they can. Uh, for instance, the actual DPS. Uh, if you do the match in a very, very, if you do the match very, very quickly, you can raise your DPS very high. Uh, I'm not sure if that's accurate. I don't know for sure. Uh, you just have you have to look at two, both of these numbers, kind of compare them, and kind of put yourself maybe in the middle. So let's say like 22, 23, somewhere in the middle there would be more accurate to what my actual DPS is. Um, but uh, let's see, we had a few of the guys weren't doing too good. I'm not going to... Yeah, see, I, I got in with a group that wasn't doing very, very high DPS. So, and that's what happens when you pug. You know, things happen, and uh, some of these guys probably shouldn't have been in there. And... Um, yeah, so what happens? And what's what's interesting is, is my crit chance says it's 9.5%, uh, which is actually kind of disappointing because uh, my actual crit chance is 16.3. So I got very, very unlucky there. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, if it's not recording all my crits or if... You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of this stuff it's odd. And it was funny, the last match I had, it wasn't, my crit chance was actually fairly low too. If we look at that. Uh, crit chance 12. I don't know if it has overall on this one. Oh, it has a link to Gateway. That's cool. This is still in beta. It's going to be in beta forever. But, uh. 
I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just an interesting app. I hope you found this interesting. I, I apologize that the run did not go very well. It's what happens in bugs. But uh, uh, thank you again. Thank you all for watching, and uh, we will see you back here next time.